American Airlines and U.S. Airways really don't want to fly solo. Hello and welcome to The Deal Report. I'm Jeff Kanaj. After the Justice Department filed suit to block their $11 billion merger, executives of the two companies adopted a defiant attitude. They vowed to fight for the deal, which would create the world's largest carrier. After the suit was announced, U.S. Air CEO Doug Parker, who would run the combined entity, instructed his minions to continue knitting the airlines together. The two companies' lawyers also struck a pugnacious tone, telling reporters that there was no meat in the government's 50-page complaint. U.S. Air and American are ready for a trial, they said, so bring it on. Of course, that stance mirrored the Justice Department's aggressive posture. As the deal's Bill McConnell notes, the DOJ's antitrust chief, William Baer, suggested that there's little room for a settlement. The department spent six months looking at the case, Baer said, and decided it was a bad deal for consumers. So while U.S. Air and American have no plan B, travelers may well wonder what their flights will be like if the merger collapses. The deal's Lou Whiteman reports that both partners would have serious problems. American, the larger of the pair, would still have extensive operations in big markets, but is also still in bankruptcy and had been planning to emerge with U.S. Air's help. Just yesterday, a judge refused to clear American's reorganization plan in light of the DOJ's action. For its part, U.S. Air would be squeezed. It's probably too small to attract lucrative corporate business, but too big to grab tourist travelers from nimble discounters like JetBlue and Southwest. In the short term, the resulting battles would likely hold fares down, a win for flyers. But experts tell Lou that the future would be bleak for both American and U.S. Air. When all is said and done, the industry's two giants, United and Delta, would rule the skies. That prospect could push U.S. Air and American to the bargaining table. In fact, despite the bluster directed at the government, the company's advisors have said they are willing to talk and willing to consider remedies short of calling the whole thing off. Well, let's wish them well, because an industry dominated by United and Delta sounds about as enticing as airline food. Am I right, people? In New York, this is Jeff Kanaj for The Deal.